Alright, so now we finish Wonderland. Um, I could go back to Traverse Town to actually get some more items, see if there's anything new in the accessory shop. So, battle level 2, and then battle level 3. Could go back. I think I'm going to go to Traverse Town right quick. Let's see what they got back on sale. I thought I could actually do a warp teleport, but I don't know. So I just want to uh, kind of just talk about the camera that I actually use. Um, I don't know if anybody ever used it before, but. I actually got this camera for Christmas as I was um, talking about my first video and I just first debuted it on um, YouTube and everything. So I just want to kind of talk about the camera that I actually use. It's, uh, it's called the JVC Evero um, GZ-E10 um, model. That's the name of the model of the camera that I use. And I just kind of noticed that it's a pretty good camera. I actually like the camera and everything. I have nothing against it. And I think it actually records a great picture. Like as you see right now, it's not that it's not too bad or anything. Well, uh, I just actually like using my camera for like most of my videos. And I actually just, as you guys know, I actually just kind of did a couple test videos and just trying out the uh, my game capture card. I actually started just started using not too long ago, just a couple days, and just kind of released a couple videos, just trying it out and everything. And it actually looked perfect running through it without any audio or any commentary added but i just like using this camera though but uh as you see i'm actually just playing this on a ps2 like my ps2 game system and it's not like a a next gen like this current generation console because the ps2 is like a really old system as everybody actually knows it's an old system and i can't really get like hd videos on there or just kind of record it with the hd pvr or anything like that but um it's a um it's an old console, so I can't really actually record like with my own um, game capture card, my new game capture card I actually got from um, Best Buy, and I actually did videos testing it out on my PlayStation 3, and it actually turned out to look pretty good. But as you know, as you can see, the picture looks pretty fine, perfectly visible on the uh, compared to the camera and onto the screen, my TV screen that I've been using for quite a while ever since December on Christmas Day. But um, I have nothing. I really don't really want to stop using the camera because I actually used it for most of my videos that I actually have. So since I already, um, because right now I actually have a total of like over 500 videos uh, uploaded on my channel, and I just been using this camera for a while, and um, I don't. I think the quality looks pretty good, but it's not like it's not really like as good as the the game capture card the HD PVR 2 that I just got but of course it's not because it's not a game capture card and this is just a any old original type of camera and this is just like a a camcorder and everything so I, I think it's pretty much basically just good for like um just shooting movies and just kind of just recording just like random stuff but I don't know if it's any good for like game footage but it actually looks it doesn't look too bad in my opinion but I don't know what everybody else thinks about the videos and stuff like most people kind of suggested the game capture card instead of just using this camera but I don't really like using I'm not gonna really be pretty much editing or anything like that and I like to do my stuff live and that's just my style just doing my videos I like to do everything live and everything like that and I don't like to I wouldn't want to just take like, use additional time just to try to just uh, edit like crazy on my videos and everything. I'd rather just do everything live or anything like that, even if I just kind of make silly mistakes and I die a lot in the videos and during my gameplay and everything like that during my gameplay videos and stuff. I want to just kind of put that out there. Like, even if it's, I make little mistakes, I just kind of get owned and during the games and I probably don't do too well during my games and matches or whatever game that I play. Just like the mistakes that happen and just like the funny things that happen. Whether I get stuck for a while and I don't know what to do, I actually want to keep on actually putting those type of videos out and not edit those parts out. I actually want to just keep those little errors and mistakes into the videos, and that's what I just 
that's why I thought about just continue to just using my camera. But what as I, I'm actually gonna, it's not that I'm not gonna use the game capture card. I actually got my HD PVR. It's not that I'm not gonna use it. I am gonna use it, but it's just that some games that I um, like for the old games, like since I can't, I don't have, I no longer have my backwards compatible PlayStation 3 anymore. Um, I got this new PlayStation, but it's not backwards compatible as the one I used to have for like, since the one I actually had for like over several, like over five years, I actually had that backwards compatible PlayStation with um, zero problems and um, no mistakes whatsoever and just like no issues to deal with or anything like that. But I just kind of got rid of it and just thought it was time for another uh, PlayStation 3. So, because I don't want that one to just kind of crash out on me or anything like that. So, the reason why I just pretty much use this camera is because I like to actually record and actually do most of my videos with the camera. And I don't do anything else differently. And what I want to do differently is just try to do my stuff live instead of just, just doing like so much editing and just spend all that time just trying to edit out my videos. But maybe I will in the near future when I kind of just kind of learn it. But... I didn't really know what I was actually doing to actually set up the HD PVR, so I thought since I could set that up, maybe I can learn some editing. But I might just do that in an, uh, just well, like in the future. I'm not gonna just start jumping right into it right then and there, but I'm just gonna continue doing what I've always been doing because I'm actually enjoy doing this and recording videos for fun. I love playing video games every day, so I just like record on a daily basis. So I thought, why not just continue using the camera instead? It was just like with these old games uh, you can't use I don't think you can actually use the HD PVR and connect it to the the old systems like the uh, some of the old consoles games that I actually have like the GameCube for example the uh, my Nintendo GameCube uh, my Wii I probably can not use yeah I can't actually use it for the Wii but um, I can't just use it like for my like you know the old systems like the PS2 and then uh, the N64 and stuff you can't really use those for those type of systems because they're not like HD consoles and they're they're uh they're much more older generation consoles. So that's pretty much what I just wanted to kinda of talk about and just kinda of explain to everybody that the reason why I'm using this and the kind of camera that I actually record in and what I actually use and why I continue to use it. Cause it, it doesn't really look that bad. Like right now it actually looks pretty clear and everything. So it's not really that bad of a uh, a device to actually use for uh, YouTube videos, and I'm actually liking it. So I've been using it for a while, and I just wanna, don't want to stop using it. So I'm just gonna just use like both simultaneously. So some some uh, for like when I'm just playing Call of Duty or something like that, I'll just probably just uh, use my HD PVR and just kind of record my games. That won't probably have commentary to it. You just hear you just hear like the gameplay audio and everything. So. That's pretty much what I just wanted to say. So the only thing new here is just like the the blizzard ring, the thunder ring, and ability studs. So I think I want to buy this. If I want to see how many, I didn't mean to press pause. I was trying to go to the menu. Let's see. I want to go to equipment. So they both have a additional space for another item. So I can just give them both ability studs to increase their AP. Uh, but I did give them this though. I remember giving them this already, but I guess it didn't save. I think I forgot to save it. Cause in my last video, I actually gave this guy, uh, gave Donald this Ephraim's horn. So I guess uh, since that brought his AP up, I guess I'll give him. I'll just give Goofy the ability stud. I want to give. I think I want to buy one for Sword too. So I'll just buy two of them. There you go. So about two of them. So I'll bring his AP up by two. And I only drop his defense by one, but <laughs> I, I want to bring the AP up. So hopefully I can bring just kind of 
hold more stuff and just kind of equip more accessories <laughs> as I level up. So I just want to do a quick stop by here. I'm trying to remember if there wasn't any like item shops, like weapon shops. I don't really think it was though. So we'll head out and start. We'll head out to the next world. That whatever the uh, I actually forgot. I think it was deep jungle though. The uh, level two, the battle level two star world, which I think it was deep jungle. So we'll head out there next.